Well, as we enter the spring season, of course, we've had to deal with the very wet conditions from last fall, and that's been problematic in terms of trying to get out in your garden and get things done this early in the season simply because of the wet surfaces. The one good thing that we've seen so far this spring has been that it's been a gradual warm-up. It hasn't been just shooting into the 80s and staying there. And so the wetness in the soil temperatures has helped to basically slow things down somewhat from breaking dormancy. And that's probably for fruit trees has been a good thing. Basically these cool conditions have allowed the, the fruit to stay in its basic dormant period. It hasn't come out and budded and bloomed, making it susceptible to freezing temperatures. But as we go forward in time now, Temperatures have warmed up sufficiently where our mean daily soil temperatures across extreme southern Nebraska at the end of March were running in the low 50s. As we go forward in time, it looks like a very warm condition starting to develop. As we go into the middle of the month, we're going to see less of these southwest moving storms, more northerly storms. That should keep temperatures up much more than last year at this time. So I expect an earlier start to our planting season, both from an agricultural standpoint and from a landscaping standpoint. The biggest issue is we go start to go more into northern stream storms as we've been in this pattern now for the southwest for the last six to eight weeks is we'll see more in the way of faster moving storms coming across the northern plains less out of the south bringing copious moisture in. I expect we're going to see an earlier season in regards to uh, that last frost I mean, and I don't think we're going to see this in May. We're going to see this probably mid-month here in the southern part of the state probably close to a normal date in western Nebraska. The biggest issue will be the amount of rainfall we received this spring. We've got full profile, so we've got to escape that. And then we look for drying or pattern. I do, at least as we get to the second half of the summer with a La Nina possibility building. Look for hotter conditions as we have more drier conditions to our south of us this summer than we've been experiencing. So overall, more of a normal type spring, moving toward a warmer pattern this summer than we've seen the last couple summers. And then a much drier pattern as we get into this fall period. So overall, get through this wetness and I think we're going to be in pretty good shape for this cropping season.